Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host, Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky. This is my cosplay entry to Batman Arkham Knight 13's cosplay YouTube contest. I'm going to be entering the first ever cosplay I created back in 2015, which is my Pokemon Trainer Brandon cosplay from the video game Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Okay, so I'm going to take you through how I made this cosplay exactly. So let's start off with the hat. The hat I did not actually make myself because originally I was going to, but unfortunately I ran out of time. So instead I had to buy a replica of it from a person called Bad Wolf Cosplay off of a website called Etsy, which sells lots of cosplay stuff. So, yeah, I, I really wish I got to make the hat but unfortunately like I said I didn't have time so I had to order it but the person called Bad Wolf Cosplay who made this has done a fantastic job in making this it looks like the hat in the game so I'm very happy that I actually bought it instead of tried making it myself because I didn't actually know how I was even going to make it so anyway the second thing of this cosplay is the backpack. The backpack is actually a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles backpack that I bought off Amazon. So what I did was to make it look like the backpack in game was I carved one of the straps, I kept one strap being this one, and then I got a piece of white fabric, I sewed it all the way around here and here and then up here and then I drew the Pokeball logo on like it looks in game well my Pokeball logo isn't very good as you can see it's not really a circle it's more of a oval or an egg <laughs> I'm not very good at drawing circles unfortunately but for the back of the backpack Okay, for the back of the backpack, what I did was I got the same white material I got on the front of the backpack where this Pokeball emblem is, and then I also got two strips of black material and also some yellow material, and then I just cut it out into the shapes I needed to be, and then I stuck it all down with some fabric glue. So that's how I made the backpack. The next thing is the shirt. The shirt is actually two shirts. So what I did was I asked my art teacher actually how I was going to make this shirt because it was really hard to do the patterns. So my art teacher suggested to make some stencils. So that's what I did. I made some stencils. I cut out the stencils out of some card and then I stuck the card stencils to the red shirt and then I just cut around the stencils and then took the spare material of the red t-shirt out so it was left with holes you know here and here and here and then I took the black t-shirt I put it underneath the red t-shirt and then I sewed all the stitches all around so that both the shirts are stuck together but with how I sewed it I tried using the sewing machine if you can see on camera I'm not sure around here that's the part that I tried doing with sewing machine but when it came to doing like the corners and the triangle shapes at the edges the sewing machine didn't really work, it, the sewing machine needle kept getting stuck in both the materials and then bunching it up like this so the t-shirt actually ended up like this so I had to unstitch all of that and re-sew about four or five times so that's how I created the shirt and for the short I'll bring up a full picture of the cosplay right here for you to see. So how I made the shorts were they were actually trousers. I could not find any shorts 
whatsoever in the shop. So what I did was I bought a pair of trousers close enough colour to the shorts in game and then I cut them just below the knee as you can see by the photo and then I got some grey fabric material and then I cut out more stencils for that and then you know I cut out the shapes in the grey fabric and then again I sewed it on including the two grey strips on the outsides of the pockets I also sewed on as well, apart from I didn't need stencils for those because those were more or less straight lines. So, okay, and the very last thing for my cosplay is the Mega Bangle, which allows you to evolve your Mega Evolve your Pokemon in game. Now, this is an electronic replica toy version I just brought off Amazon very cheaply, but it did come with all these mega stones and how it works is you grab one of the mega stones put it on top like this and then it makes some flashing lights and sounds like you're a mega evolving your pokemon so yeah that's the last part of my cosplay and i hope you all have enjoyed the video and remember to go and check out Batman Arkham Knight 13's YouTube channel. He has also got a second channel, which you can also go and check out. I will make sure that both his channels will be linked in the description. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And until the next video, remember to leave a like, favourite, share, comment, subscribe, but also subscribe to both of Batman Arkham Knight 13's YouTube channels and until the next video remember to stay golden, stay frosty and bye -see.